Lo-fi hip hop is a huge genre, and the late Japanese producer Nujibes is one of its forefathers, thanks to his jazzy production. and his unique use of samples. His two albums, Metaphorical Music and Modal Soul, are touch tones in lo-fi, and those who knew Nujibes say he was influenced by tons of jazz and golden era hip hop. Like Native Tongues, Tribe, and um, folks like that, Pete Rock, um, CL Smooth, that's Maryland rapper Substantial. He was one of Nujibes' first signees to his record label, Hideout Productions. Substantial spoke with Genius News about what it was like to work with the reclusive producer. I mean, he wanted the music to speak for itself and build his reputation off of what he was making. The two worked together on Hideout Productions' first release in 2001. To this union, a son was born. My favorite that we worked on together uh, was the um, final track on the album, which is Ain't No Happy Endings. Yo, there ain't no happy endings, cause nothing really ends. When your life is over, another begins. And that's the way it works in the circle of life, balancing those good days with the time to strife. You know, I'll never forget the day he played that beat for me at his studio. A noted crate digger who owned a couple of record shops, Nujibes was a sampling master, like his take on Terry Collier's Ordinary Joe, Substantial's favorite. I keep on trying, near it, a little rhythm for your spirits. I pull that one spark, come on in, here's the door. I, I think his production overall was deceptively simple. Whether in terms of like drum structure or how he flipped the samples, like it was very simple and I mean that in, in a good way. That's Japanese rapper Shingo too, one of Nujibes' earliest collaborators. He tours around the world keeping Nujibes' memory alive. The two are behind the six part series Love Sick, where Shing writes a love letter to hip hop. According to him, part two happened in the wake of 9-11. The buildings were still smoldering, you know, Nujibes just sends me a beat. While, like I said, watching in the world collapse literally, I'm like, okay, once again now, where do I start, dear love? Once again, now, where do I start, dear love? I'm struck with the pull up to find you here. Every morning I wake from a cavernous night, sometimes still pondering the previous plight. That same introspection is what made the duo's most famous collaboration, Battle Cry, the theme song for Samurai Champloo, so popular. Sharp like an edge of a samurai sword, the man to play, cut through flesh and bone. No more minds at peace, the world out of order, listen, then the heat that gets colder. I had no idea that it will be big or even received in the United States, literally. Created by Shinichiro Watanabe, Samurai Champloo is one of the most iconic anime of all time. In an interview, Watanabe once said, quote, When I came up with the character of Mugen, I heard hip-hop at the same time, and I thought he was going to be a rapper samurai. This hip-hop influence was clear throughout the show. Note the scratching DJ. Oh yeah! Get him! <laughs> As to Nujibes' inclusion, Watanabe added elsewhere, quote, The composer Nujibes was the first name that came to mind when I thought of creating music for Samurai Champloo, so I think we were able to perform a great, spectacular collaboration together. Some days, some nights, some live, some die in the name of the samurai. Some fight, some play, so up, so down, the sons of a battle cry. Talking about my own heritage and talking about the inspiration I had with the samurai sword. I think the whole anime side of the lo-fi hip hop nowadays is is way more as a di of a direct, you know, kind of flow from from new jobs. That's Johnny Laxton from College Music, a live YouTube lo-fi streaming channel with over one million subscribers. And you know, it's gone from onto the lo-fi streams now across YouTube. You know, our stream and other streams. They have, you know, the study girl based on, you know, Ghibli and other kind of anime. This is why rapper Saw Baby shouts out Nujibes on his 2018 track, Anime World. I love to make one with Nujibes, man. He went crazy, man. I mean, it's just so calm and relaxing, man. R.I.P. to him, man. Johnny believes that Nujibes is integral to what lo-fi hip-hop is known today. The likes of EV, Tumble Beats, Jin Tang, these guys were very much influenced by by New Jobs, and obviously we can't forget Jay Dilla as well. New Jobs is often mentioned in the same breath as the late legendary producer Jay Dilla. In fact, the two share a birthday. In rap lyrics, the two go hand in hand, like Joey Badass in 2013's 20 Miles Freestyle. 
On some legendary shit, thinking I should be deceased Like Pac, like Dilla, like New Job Beats Jaden Smith did the same thing on his 2018 remix of his song, Icon Send my love to New Job Beats and Dilla I'ma keep speaking truth to these jokers trying to kill us, it's the plan While New Job was highly influential, Substantial believes that people shouldn't try to clone him Something he addressed on his song, No Turning Back 2.0 Watching these clowns fight your style and use your image Meanwhile, they barely gave you your props when you were living I doubt your family's getting a check It got me living, mispronounce your name They act like they knew what you intended But he believes that he is to keep pushing Nujibes' legacy forward I owe it to him to make sure that, you know, um, that people don't forget uh, what he contributed um, musically to the world What he contributed um, to my career and a lot of the other brothers who had the pleasure of working with them. I'm Jacques Morel with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music. Peace.